welcome to the 2016 NHL Draft Recap. In this episode, I will be giving the recap of the 2016 NHL Draft. This will be the winners, losers, and trades declaration. Uh, the winners for the 2016 NHL Draft are the Edmonton Oilers, the Winnipeg Jets, the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Arizona Coyotes, the Detroit Red Wings, and the Philadelphia Flyers. The Edmonton Oilers are winners because of the selection of Jesse Pujari. Because of the Columbus Blue Jackets' decision to select Pierre Luc Dubois number three, Pujari fell right into the Oilers' lap. Pujari will form a deadly one two punch with Connor McDavid and Edmonton. Winnipeg Jets got a pure goal scorer in Patrick Line. Patrick Line will be a force to reckon with in the NHL. They also drafted a 6 7 defenseman in Logan Stanley. The Toronto Maple Police, of course, are the winners of the draft lottery and won in the grand prize, Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews is going to be a difference maker starting next year. So for that reason alone, they are the winners. The Philadelphia Flyers also are winners, as they got a very skilled center in German Rutsov, and they got WHL goalie of the year in Carter Hart. Philadelphia Flyers are really building up their farm system. They have some really talented young players there. The Arizona Coyotes had an impressive debut of their young GM, Jock Traitor. He drafted Clayton Keller, number eight, who will be a dynamic young player for the Coyotes. And they drafted with the pick they traded in the Tavapatsu. Deal to acquire that that to uh, Jacob Sheeran. Jacob Sheeran was a consensus top ten pick in mid season, but due to um, bad showing in the draft year and some teams having doubts about his ability to be a top pair defenseman, he slipped in the draft board. He also traded. Jacob also traded for Anthony D'Angelo, who was a former first-round pick of the Lightning. He has a lot of talent. An honorable mention is the Detroit Red Wings. The Detroit Red Wings aren't winners because of who they drafted in the draft, but because they cleared the cap hit of Paolo Dotsu about the Rooks. This now allows them to line up and pursued Steven Stamkos, and arguably the front runners, along with Tampa Bay, who was trying to re-sign Steven Stamkos. And now, for the losers of the NHL draft. The losers are the St. Louis Blues, the Montreal Canadiens, the Boston Bruins, the Columbus Blue Jackets, the Colorado Avalanche, and the Anaheim Ducks. The St. Louis Blues are losers because they traded Brian Elliott for just a second round pick. And they did not trade Kevin Steinkirk yet. And they still have many questions surrounding their team. The Montreal Canadiens are losers because they traded Lars Elder for two second round picks. That's good. But then they probably traded two seconds for Andrew Shaw, who's then going to uh, ask for a lot of money on a multi-year deal. He's going to get overpaid, and that will be another bad contract. Boston Bruins. Boston Bruins got Charles McAvoy, who's on the record saying that he hates the Bruins. But he is a good player, so... I'll let that slide. But they really re- reached when they took Sam Steele with their 29th pick in the first round. 29th overall pick and second pick in the first round. The, 
published blue jackets are also losers. As they selected Pierre Luc de Blois third overall and opted to pass on Jesse Pulchard. I don't have a problem with selecting Pierre Luc de Bois. Pierre Luc de Bois is going to be a great player in the NHL. But if they were going to select Pierre Luc de Bois, with the teams that would be very interested in Jesse Pulchard, they should have traded that number three pick to teams that were looking to take him, rather than just let Pulchard fall to Edmonton at number four. And the final loser is the Colorado Avalanche. The Colorado Avalanche didn't really address their team needs. Their biggest team need is defense. Yet, they didn't really draft defense. With their first round pick, they drafted Tyson Joyce, who is a center, and they're the strongest at center. Tyson Joyce is a very good and strong center, but they're strong at center. So, they didn't really address their team needs. This honorable mention, the Anaheim Ducks. They picked a player in Max Jones, who will either be a boom or bust pick in the first round. Yes, he's a guy that has size and he can score. But, understand that when playing against players in, and uh, juniors and lower level leagues, you're playing against smaller players. He's already almost fully developed, so he's not at a high level yet. So he may not fully pan out. He could be another Tom Wilson, or he could be another Milan Lucci. Who knows? So here are some trades that went down during the NHL draft. The first trade that went down was between the Montreal Canadiens and the Washington Capitals. The Montreal Canadiens traded Lars Eller to the Washington Capitals in exchange for a second round pick in 2017 and a second round pick in 2018. Then, promptly, the Montreal Canadiens traded for Andrew Shaw. The Chicago Blackhawks traded Andrew Shaw for Montreal's 39th pick, which turned into Alice the Brigade, and the 45th pick, which turned into Chad Chris. And then you have the New Jersey Devils, who were second to pick 11, decided to trade down a pick to the 12th spot with the Ottawa Senators. And in doing so, they gained an additional third round pick, with, which turned into the 80th overall pick. Uh, with the 11th overall pick, the Senators took Logan Brown. With the 12th overall pick, the Devils took Mike McLeod. With the 80th overall pick, the Devils took Brandon Gripnuck. The St. Louis Blues traded Brian Elliott to the Calgary Flames in exchange for the 35th pick overall in the 2016 draft, and the conditional third round pick in 2018. This pick turned into Jordan Cairo. The Detroit Red Wings traded the contract of Pavel Dostuk and the 16th pick, which was Jacob Turin, to the Arizona Coyotes to the, for the 20th overall pick, Janet. And Chalowski, the 53rd overall pick, Philip Hornak, and Joe Vitale. The Florida Panthers traded defenseman Dmitry Kulikov, along with the 33rd pick, Rodgers Aspen, to the Buffalo Sabres exchange for Mark Pesek, the 38th pick, Adam Masterson. Masturin, and an 89th pick, Linus Nassin. The Tampa Bay Lightning traded Anthony D'Angelo to the Arizona Coyotes in exchange for the 
37th overall pick, which was Labor Hijack. The Pittsburgh Penguins made another trade with the New Jersey Devils. They traded Henry from Bew Bennett to the Devils in exchange for the 77th overall pick, which was Cotton Hall. The LA Kings really needed to stockpile their farm system with goalies, so they did so, acquiring Jack Campbell from the Dallas Stars in exchange for Nick Eber. The Colorado Avalanche finally traded one of their problem titles in Nick Holden. They traded Nick Holden to the Raiders in exchange for a 2017 fourth round pick. Finally, the last trade in the uh, 2016 NHL draft was the Columbus Boom Jackets sending, sending Kirby Reichel to the Toronto Maple Leafs in exchange for Scott Harrington and a conditional fifth round pick in 2017. So that's a recap of the 2017 or 2016 NHL draft, sorry. Uh, next episode of Google Hangout, I will be talking about 